Well, I think uh, their data is their data, and we've, all, of course, all seen that same trend. But I think uh, most businesses, uh, many businesses, are still not fully back to the office. Uh, many people, because of Delta, have delayed return to office, and many planned business travel was delayed because of Delta. So I think we're seeing that trend extend a little bit. But I was with uh, the CEO of a major U.S. bank in New York this week, and he told a great story about how his team had gone out where other teams had uh, stayed home and Zoomed, and they won the business, and it was a great piece of business. And I think that trend will continue. We will see uh, it be a competitive market where people have to travel for business and, and create relationships and get out there. So I think there will be some changes, maybe in internal corporate travel and some other areas. And of course, Brian's comments about groups getting back together to meet, uh, to build culture for companies. I think that's true. I don't know where that balance will be, but corporate travel is going to come back. People have to travel for work. But because the COVID risk has not fully gone away, uh, it seems like it's becoming an increasingly competitive market for you. You have Airbnb competing with you on homes, booking holdings under the leadership of Glenn Fogel, really having this aggressive push into the U.S. You're currently outspending Airbnb 10 times on advertising. How much more do you plan to spend on marketing and brand building over the next 6 to 12 months? Yeah, I don't think it's about how much. Uh, I think Airbnb has a great brand and people know it for certain things. I think we're trying to make sure people understand what our brands are about. And uh, we're actually spending less than we were two years ago uh, by a considerable amount. Uh, but we are following the market. And as things rebound, uh, we will lean into the opportunities we see. So sure, we have competition everywhere, but that's not, that's not different than it ever was. Uh, and we have a great business in the vacation rental business with Verbo. So we have a very competitive product for a segment of the Airbnb universe that we're focused on. Uh, and then, you know, booking has been a longtime competitor. They're a strong competitor. And, you know, we think we think we like our odds in that fight. So we're fine. With Peter, that. it's Morgan. We're finally, Morgan. finally starting to see some of those restrictions lifted for international travelers to the U.S. I realize it's not going to take take hold until later this fall. But the fact that we are starting to see the green light for more people from more countries begin to come here to the U.S., what does that mean for your company? And is it going to be enough, given all the red tape that will be associated with that, even still, will it be enough to see international travel rebound? Yeah, I think it's great news. Um, we've already seen, uh, you know, searches go up considerably across Europe. Uh, I had a stat that in, in the U.K., uh, they were twice what they were a week ago on the same day, on the 20th, when it was announced. So I think we're going to continue to see that. Uh, obviously, the airlines have to get more planes back in operation for long-haul flights. But international uh, Europe to U.S. has always been a strong suit of ours, relatively, in Europe. And uh, and really, our suffering and the, and the airline suffering in the industry has been these long-haul uh, trips that have gone away. So I think it's a great moment for travel broadly. Uh, I think it's there's a lot of pent-up demand in Europe to come to the U.S., just as there is in the U.S. to more freely travel to Europe. But even with those restrictions that U.S. citizens have, we're seeing more and more people going to Europe now uh, with their vaccination cards, filling out the forms, getting their QR codes. So I think it's a great step for travel, certainly, and certainly for us.